Hi guys, this is Josh once again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, for today's video, what I'm going to, re to do is uh, I'm going to introduce the pre-review ko lang na mabilis yung mga or isi-share ko lang mabilis yung mga perfumes or yung mga set na ginagamit ka everyday. So, uh, very good disclaimer lang hindi ako magaling mag-review ng perfume. So, mainly siguro I'm just, uh, I just wanted to share kung ano yung mga perfumes na ginagamit ko. Maybe you guys would want to try it also. And, uh, since hindi naman ako masyado magaling mag-review ng perfume or mag-describe ng amoy, so I just decided to categorize it into three. Ito paano ko siya describe So the first one is, by the way, naka on yung laptop ko, so I would get a guide here. So I'll describe it first with ano ba yung scent. So the best way possible, I will be able to um, describe it. And then, in terms of the level of compliment, meaning, uh, pag sa ulit ko siya, ano yung mga nakukuha kong compliment, ilan ba, or marami ba nakakapansin. And then the third one is, how, what do I imagine, ano yung gusto kong isuot? Uh, let's say, for example, or which place will I go for me to be able to choose na yun yung gusto kong gamitin na perfume, okay? So, without further ado, let's go through it, okay? So, first thing I'd like to start off with, but anyway, yes, this is not in particular order. Uh, hindi siya based dun sa pinaka-pabuyo ko sa hindi. So, random ko lang siya pipiliyan. So, the first one is Zara Silver Gold. The Zara Man Silver, not the Zero, Silver Gold, but the Zara Man, Man Silver. Okay? So, how will I describe this one? So, inaway ko siya. So, Pag amoy mo siya, it's very, very citrusy. Imagine nyo yung pinag-combine ng lemon, may orange. Um, at the same time, meron din siyang scent na parang lavender. Um, in terms of the level of compliment, I would say three. Hindi siya masyado pansinin mo compared sa iba pang babango na i-introduce ko sa inyo. So basically, I get to use that one since hindi niya siya masyadong pansinin pag halimbawa kung madala ko ng mga na shorts or say for example sinipa ako mag-gym uh, parang I just consider it as a loan. So shorts lang, naka-jeans lang for example and I would put it up all. So in terms of level of compliment, I'd say about 3.5. Okay? You can get to see the reviews sa internet. Uh, this is just very similar now to the scent of Gucci uh, guilty. Although I have not uh, tried that one, but according to them, coming up. So there, that's your Zara Silver for men. And the next uh, perfume na isa pa din sa ginagamit ko is, by the way, magbumibili ako ng perfumes ng every, probably three months. At hindi ko naman siya ginagamit lahat. Gusto ko lang na iba-iba yung perfumes ko. Depende kung uh, any occasion or sa nakupupunta. Para at least may variations din yung set. Okay. So, the next perfume na introduce ko sa inyo is the CKB. Ito, isa to sa mga pinaka-favorito ko watch na yung mga kong ginamit ko when I was young. Uh, this one, the CKB. Kulay black siya. It's very matte lang yung bote niya. Okay. So, for this one, the scent of this is um, it's very fresh and woody also. Kung tatalan ninyo ako yung unisex siya, noong una ko siya naamoy, para talaga siyang pang babae. But I found out na may mga lalaki rin na nagsusot nito. So, meron din siyang scent ng pagkalavender, um, peppermint, tapos sa huli, pagkatagalan, may amoy siya ng vanilla. So, siguro kaya siya naging parang medyo um, unisex because dun sa set niyang vanilla dun sa last part. Dun sa pinaka-base niya. Now, wala siyang kaamoy. I'd have to say it's very, very unique. 
and um uh, kung kaya natin to short if I go to the office all right or same thing naka shorts lang din ako or naka polo shorts or most of the time ginagamit ko siya pag nasa school ako so para at least medyo hindi intimidating yung ako ay para sa mga estudyante lang so in terms of level of compliment and fairness dito na nuluntok din to si CKB I will give it a four kasi parang so there. Um, the next perfume naman is the same brand as the first one, but this time around it's a different name. Kung kanila Zara Silver, this one ang Zara Gold. By the way, guys, tong Zara Gold na to, itong pagkabili ko sa Zara Silver, it's just an accident because I don't really intend to buy. Ito talaga siya kailangan, but there was a sale. Zara na buy one take one. So the price of this one that I can be nagamit comes with another one for a difference of just 100 pesos. So I just tried it and the gusto ko yung mga Zara Silver pang araw-araw na. But this one is one of my favorite scents. So according to them, the Zara Gold is a similar scent ng signature brand ng Pakaraban um, Excess Black. Although I tried asking sa uh, sa Mega Mall and sa Rustans, it appeared that face out may brand na yun, yung scent na yun, kaya hindi ko talaga siya na-compare, alright? But for this one, let's get through it na. I said, this is one of my favorite. The scent is very woody. It has a very spicy scent pag naamoy mo siya. And it has a scent also of cinnamon and peppery din siya. Um, but what I like about this Gold is that Ang tulis, alam mo yung mga pabango na hindi siya ordinal, pero talagang matalim siya. Talagang tumutusok. So, ganun. Uh, if you guys would have a chance, punta lang kayo Zara Mall lang to. Nasa isang hindi, wala ka tungon ka saan para ma-try mo sa sarili mo. Ang uh, very pandala ka siya. Mapansin niyo lahat ng pabango ko, although I'm a little, I'm very soft. Most of the perfumes that I like are very, very nice. Um, where do I use this one? I get to use this one, especially pag nasa office ako. Hindi kang sinusuot pag yung sa shorts lang ako. May katapoy na suot ko yan siya pag nagagalit ako na papasok ako sa office. Or maybe may event talaga ako na pang malakasan or wedding or singing engagement. Or for example, uh, meron ako meeting uh, that I will be facing you know, my bosses. Then I have to wear a perfume. Um, that would give me that confidence. And again, this is the one, my favorite. Okay, so the next perfume na gusto ko i-share sa inyo is, this is just very new to me. I think I've just used it for two months. Uh, this one is the Blue de Chanel Pala Toilet. Okay, so hindi ko pa na-try isa yung other pop perfume, but this one is the other toilet lang. Okay, pero sabi nila, mas mabago din yung other toilet kumpara sa perfume because uh, mas matagal. By the way guys, in terms of longevity, uh, magka-level lang yung tatlo na to. Um, long lasting naman sila, probably around uh, 8 hours, pwede na. And then, uh, the scents, they stay sa damit mo even up to the moment na kailangan mo na labahan yung outfit so ganun sila kalong lasting although itong blue de chanel na to guys I'd have to say hindi siya ganun kalong lasting for whatever reason that is I do not know um, in terms of the scent um, okay. so amoy niya is woody din siya and uh, very citrusy also it's a little sharper compared to dun sa Zara Gold and um, citrusy but I would say hindi siya long lasting okay turn off yung camera ko parang nag, hindi ko mainit daw kailangan daw malamig yung temperature I don't know so going back guys uh, as what I'm saying earlier itong pabawa na ito hindi siya masyadong long lasting kung makapansin mo yung bote hindi ko siya masyadong nagagamit kasi nga hindi siya long lasting and at the same time um hindi siya ganun ka 
striking in terms of the price. Di hamak na wala mas mahal si Chanel kumpara sa Zara, pero I still prefer the Zara one compared dun sa Chanel. Right? But pero okay na rin siya. Uh, Mila hindi lang talaga distinct yung scent niya compared dun sa iba. Okay? And then, uh, where did I wear this one? Can I wear this in the office? Um, if I go to school or maybe in the mall. You know? So, ito nakakatawa lang. Siguro if I would have to describe this, kung ito yung pabango mo, itong Zara Gold na to, imagine mo, um, bumaba ka ng kotse. Alright? And, uh, you are wearing long sleeves. And, um, you're up for a client meeting. So, ganun. If you're wearing the blue de Chanel naman, it's just very similar to Zara also. Pero, ito naman is, imagine nyo na lang, hindi kayo nagda-drive ng kotse nyo, but you're just driving a blue de Chanel. Sige, sige, hindi ko po ng car. So, parang ganun. Pero, at least, nakakotse ka pa rin. So, ganun siya. Mas anat pa rin talaga yung Zara Gold sa akin kumpara dun sa blue de Chanel. And then, lastly, guys, um, kung ito, so, uh, suot mo pa. I mean, I'm saying suot kasi it's part of my outfit. Kaya ako may make sure may pabango talaga. Um, kung ito, suot mo when you're driving your car, pababa ka sa isang meeting. And then the Blue de Chanel, you're also going to a meeting at parity. You don't have a car. Um, <clears throat> and naka-Uber ka lang. The last perfume na share ko sa inyo is this one. Hindi ka naka-Uber. May coach hindi ka, may sarili kang kotse but you're not the ones driving because you have a driver and at the top of my list thinking okay, great going on this is the Dior Sauvage at a perfume oh, so ito yung masasabi ko na very uh, masculine yung amoy imagine ka athlete ka na sits to your height mo or senator ka or CEO ka or site director ka ng isang kumpanya. Ganun yung dating nitong pabango na to. And it is also very sharp as compared to the Zara Gold. And uh, what I like about this one is talagang long lasting tumatagal ko siya. And habang tumatagal siya, lalo siyang bumabango sa katawan. So, I would say kung yung Blue de Chanel, I will rate it. I will say it's four, which is similar to the Zara Gold. But the Blue de Chanel, I would have of the, the Savage, Dior, other uh, perfume. I would say um, a market. Well, I give it a five in terms of performance. In terms of compliments, I would say four point five also. Kasi talagang pagyana pabango mo talagang pansin na Okay. Whereas the Blue de Chanel, I would say 3.5 siguro in terms of level of compliment. Okay. I'm not sure kung nasabi ko sa Zara Google, level of compliment nito guys is similar to the Samage. I would also give it a 4.5. Okay. So there guys, ito lang naman yung mga perfumes na regular kong ginagamit. I'm the kind kasi who always ensures na they become my signature hindi talaga ako nagpapalit ng mga scent and I make it a point na yun yung lagi kong ginagamit pa nagpapalit-palit ko. So, itong sets of perfume ko na to, I get to use it already for more than a year. Alright? Kasi hindi naman ako malag the last maglagay because they're all long last days anyway. So, but before I end this, guys, um, there were several discussions and, you know, tipang iba-ibang style kung paano mag-apply ng perfume and I just found that one technique is to wear I get to maintain yung tamang amoy and at the same time yung longevity niya ay long lasting pa din siya. Kasi before whenever I just you know um, spray a perfume, gagawin ko din talaga yung spray, spray ko lang na ganyan sa kamay ko. Ganun gagawin ko rin ko niya. Ganun gagawin ko na lang. So, I found out na nasa sayang siya and at the same time, uh, hindi ko na ilalagay ng tama sa amoy sa katawan ko. So, and then, hindi ganun ka-efficient or effective yung um, purpose ko. Okay? Or yung outcome, I would say. So, I'll share with you kung paano ko siya na-apply. By the way, uh, based na rin sa observation ko, mas nagla-last long yung perfume or yung pabang mo. Pag, um, paano ba to? Pag-i-spray mo siya sa damit, hindi sa balat. 
because I tried that also. Yung sinasabi nila na panig spray ka, spray ko din ito. Kasi tapos dyan daw yung mga nagpapalpitate. I've tried that before and I was not able to get naman the desired result. So, the urge is just five um, uh, steps on how I spray it. Nakita ko lang din yung sa internet and I found it very, very effective. So, lima lang siya. So, if I will use, say for example, this one. So, ito yung perfume ko. Isa lang. Lima lang. So, ito. Sa likod ng tenga. That's one. And then, sa pila. Two. And then, sa parato. Three. And then, pinakahuli na is dito na. Sa may bandang liit. So, yun lang. So, limang meses lang siya. In terms of layo, siguro, mga ganito kalayo, okay na yung pico. Nakakoma ang kalang na ganyan. Ipit ko lang siguro ng konti para umapot. And it feels ready to do it. Minsan, guys, pag uh, feeling ko hindi siya masyado na amoy, although naaamoy naman siya, okay lang talaga ako. Gusto ko nalilito ako. So, kaya ko lang naisa yung kamay ko. And then, I get to do this. And then, hinahalo ko siya sa dalit ko. And sana ko gusto may hair. And I found out, guys, that if I do that, the scent would last longer. So, yun lang naman. If you'd like to try, guys, um, all these perfumes, lahat po pang lalaki niya mo rin. Deki ako, pero may yun mo sa pang lalaki niya mo. And uh, in terms of when it comes to where did I buy all these, I'll put it on the comment section later on. You can browse it. Patingnan nyo na lang dyan. And then, uh, kung gusto nyo subukan, subukan nyo maybe mahiyan din nyo or magustungan din nyo and then balitaan nyo kung ano yung um, ano yung observations nyo and if you have questions, just shoot me a message I'm happy to answer that with, uh, for you guys, okay? So, once again guys if you feel and you think that this could also help other people and you know, we can help them to find the scent that would suit them best share this video like the subscribe button and also uh, ring the bell on my YouTube page so definitely you guys will be informed when I are on that video so lang, thank you very much for spending your time with me and have a good day guys see you again bye